power up here with the image. And we can run Clonezilla Lite server right here and actually pull off the NAS so we don't have to have the image on the local hard drive. But we want to show you how to do that now because uh, you might have multiple systems such as this. Uh, you might be on different networks. Uh, you might want to take one of these to a workshop or to some other kind of event or location, take it up to the other locations. So now we will move the image here. This is probably the most complicated thing we'll do today, but it just takes a few minutes. So I'm going to start this server up, which boots off the CD, but has a hard drive inside it. So that one's called Clonezilla. I can power that on and open the console. And just like elsewhere, we're going to go VGA with large fonts to RAM. And here it's especially important to have it to RAM because we can actually mount a physical disk onto, onto the uh, server. And if we boot it to the, to the CD without the RAM, we wouldn't be able to make that mount. Okay, we're going to do the keyboard layout. Start Clonezilla. Now, we're not going to clone anything here. We're faking it. We're going to tell it we're going to do a, a Clonezilla operation. But then we're going to do a copy instead and then quit. So I'm going to lie to it here and say we're working with disks and partitions. So we're not going to do the light server here because this is just the copy and, uh, operation. And then I'm going to tell it to use the NFS server. And the reason I am is this will then um, mount the true NAS NFS appliance contents. And um, I know from uh, going to the sysadmin or the owner of the NFS device or doing a show mount that this is my mount point. Yours is likely going to be mount image pool or whatever you make it in the future. So uh, I'm gonna make 45 and then MNT open shift. Okay, I can see that mounted. I'm going to hit enter. And at this point, I can go to the command line prompt. I came back to this now. I'll, I'll enter command line prompt. Okay, and I'm going to sudo dash s. So I get the super user. And uh, now you can see at the bottom here, if I go mount, I can see at the bottom, yeah, I've, I got that NFS mount. Here it is, it's uh, on 45 mount open shift type NFS. So that's good. Now, uh, we wanna put it on the local disk. Now this, this Linux system as it is, is running off of a RAM disk. So it's, uh, you know, it's not real. So if we don't, copied onto the physical disk. When we turn this off, it won't be there. So I need to mount the physical disk and I can use a mount command. And I've, from a previous video on uh, YouTube that I'll reference, this is a type XFS. It is slash device slash uh, storage disk A for alpha, meaning it's the first storage disk, first storage disk first partition. And then we're going to, uh, I've got to make a temporary place to mount this. I'm going to go make dir mount temp. Okay. So we need to mount the real XFS disk drive partition onto that mount temp. Now if I go mount I see that I've got the NFS mount 
as well as the other mount on the X, F, uh, but it, yeah, it, right, right here. It's not actually sorted. Yeah. So what we want to do is um, copy command. And I can do it R for recurse through the subdirectories. P, uh, save the, the um, permissions. Home, part image. And if I tab here, I see, yeah, here's Jim's test up here. I have some other things, but 2021-10. Okay. Now I want to take off the backslash because I want this directory. Slash means the contents of that directory, but I want the directory and the dash R brings me all the subdirectories and files. Then I want to move that to, or copy that onto mount temp. Here, I want to have the trailing slash because I don't want this directory becoming, becoming uh, replacing the name temp. I want it to go into the contents of temp. So um, that's, that's how the trailing slashes work. And this will just take a, a minute or so. All right. And I can look at Mount Temp to see if it came over. And there's Jim's disk. Now I have a couple others I played with earlier, but they're there. So at this point, I'm done with this operation. I'll just go shut down H now. That shutdown command should be shut down dash H now. Thank you for uh, viewing the video, and we'll see you on the next one.